this, huh? 2.6 million coins! I've upgraded from the money man to the money god to the money supreme! I'm Thanos with all the infinity stones, except every single infinity stone is a Benjamin Franklin. And with the snap of my fingers, I could literally buy you, your mother, your father, everything you know and love. Boom! Not only do I have 2.6 million coins, but, but with a rage quit and a win following from last episode, I got to carry one player over into today's episode. It's kind of like I got an inheritance from my father, right? So not only am I the money man, but my dad was the money man senior. And when he passed away from cancer, bless his soul, he left his one and only son, Papa Meeks, every last dime. And I use those dimes, those nickels, those pennies on. No shot here. 92 overall Derrick Henry. We spent stupid bread on him last episode and we're bringing him right back. Now before we talk about this episode, I'd like to read you a quote from another money man, a close colleague of mine, Jeff Bezos. Here's a quote from Jeff Bezos. Fuck poor people. I love to hear it, Jeff. That's a great way to progress in today's episode. All right, let's talk football, baby. Now I've got 2.6 million and I don't even have to buy a halfback. That gives me over 100k for every single position, but it's not going to be that nicely distributed. I'm gonna start out right now, since I have so many coins, with my absolute favorite players in the game, and then I'll build around them. So, number one, the Nigerian Nightmare. Christian Okoye. So his 91 overall AKA card is only 178K. Number one, this is an incredible fullback. Amazing size, amazing speed. He gets the ability Vanguard. He's the only fullback in the entire game who gets Vanguard. And Vanguard gives you dominant impact block wins. I would say right now, this is my number one favorite card in all of Madden. A quarterback I want to try out who recently dropped is 90 overall Kyler Murray. He's 133,000 coins. Now, what I love about this card is his stats are insane. But if it's a double XP weekend for Call of Duty, they have all his stats. Luckily, I'm recording this video on a Tuesday, so we should be good. Yeah, actually an amazing card though. 90 speed, 90 throw power. His accuracies are incredible. I always got to get two tight ends. And my first tight end's not even going to be that expensive. It's 55,000 coins for 88 overall TJ Hawkinson. I love him. Six foot five, 85 speed. He's just a good tight end. And my backup tight end will actually be Parham. I have no excuse to spend 300k on a tight end when Donald Parham for 25k can get the job done. Wide receivers in this game are crazy expensive because you gotta beat man coverage. We're gonna get a much upgraded version of a player we used last time. Dante Hall is crazy fast. 89 overall Dante Hall. 62,000 coins. He's got 90 speed. Wide receiver one is probably gonna be 90 overall Michael Crabtree. I know Richard Sherman thinks he's a sorry ass receiver, but his stats are crazy good. He's six foot one, so he's actually a pretty big body, especially compared to like Dante Hall, and he's 130k. For my final wide receiver, I'm gonna get the just Justin Jefferson. This is already an insanely good wide receiver card. He's only 64,000 coins. You guys remember when this was the best wide receiver in the game? So my wide receiver core is actually incredible here, and I really didn't have to spend that much on it. So half of 2.6 mil, since I usually go about half on O, half on D, I have so many coins right now to spend on O lineman. 88 Trent Williams for 50k. In fact, now that I look at this, I'm actually going to get an insane O line, and I'll still have stupid bread to spend on defense. I can get big boy 89 Bruce Matthews for 76. 6k. 59k for Ragnow. Not a lot of good right guard options. Trey Smith appears to be the only option. We're gonna go with 87 Zach Martin instead. And for my 87 right tackle, I'm getting Panay Sewell. It's a bit of an overpay. I could get virtually the same card for 80k if I got Rob Havenstein, but I got Brad and I love Sewell. And I spent a mil on offense, which means we get 1.6 for all of defense plus a kicker. For kicker, it's an easy decision for me. Justin Reed's my favorite. Also want to give a huge thank you to C SeatGeek for continuing to sponsor my videos. SeatGeek is the best place to get tickets for anything. So if there's any events coming up that take a ticket and you want to go to it, NFL, MLB, NCAA, a festival, a concert, whatever, you should have the SeatGeek app on your phone. They're going to take tickets from all around the web and put them in one location to make buying simple. That's why SeatGeek is awesome. Additionally, I can get you a little discount. You can get $20 off your first order at SeatGeek when you use code MMG. Again, that's $20 off code MMG and enjoy the 
the rest of the video. I want a monster user and we can absolutely afford this. I've never used the Bam Bam Cam yet. So this is my first time. He's six foot three, so he's huge. He's a strong safety, so he's an amazing user. He's got 89 speed, 91 excel, 91 hit power, and his ability is avalanche. And if we're gonna use Cam as our user, that means we need an actual strong safety up there. And you know who's not that expensive? 90 overall, Troy Palomalu is barely over 100K. This Ed Reed, just the 88 overall, is nasty. This Pat Pete is such a monstrous corner. He is so good, take advantage of the fact that he's 58K. Jair Alexander will probably be my CB1. He is so good. And our third corner will actually be picking up a player you guys have probably seen before as well. Just like Justin Jefferson, Sneed's an amazing corner. He's from the Headliners promo, so he used to be very expensive, but not anymore. My D tackle one's gonna be DeForest Buckner, 60K, 88 overall. Now his stats are good. The main reason I like him, he's six foot seven, so he's a huge body. And I'm just gonna use inside stuff. It's really the only thing that matters on D tackles. We can get the full AKA Reggie White, the minister of defense for barely over 100K. 89 block set, 90 power moves, 87 finesse, 86 speed. Like that's that's just, it's just a good bargain. You can't fight a good bargain. At right end, I am going this 90 overall Aiden Hutchinson. We've got a good amount of Lions players. Hutchinson's also six foot seven, so he's monstrous. Hilariously, I actually kind of like him in coverage every once in a while. I use him on my lineup that I play on Twitch with, so that's why I've used him. 90 overall Aiden Hutch. For my D tackle two, I'll pick up Chris Jones, 87 overall. If I'm forced to use or somebody at middle linebacker in a 4-3, I would love if it was CJ Mosley. 87 speed, 89 excel, he's six foot two. This is a card I've never gotten to use. 419k left. I only need a backup middle linebacker and then outside linebacker. So I'm gonna get some fucking studs. Backup MLB can be Cole Holcomb, 86 speed, 6-1, whatever. And between my outside linebackers right now, I've got 360k. Holy shit. Looks like if I want an insane right outside linebacker, I gotta spend stupid coins. Ooh, dude, what if I get T Sizzle? Dude, this Terrell Suggs is so sick. Look at this fucking card, dude. Are you kidding me? 91 block shed, power moves, finesse moves, strength, tackle, excels. Oh my god, I want it so bad. I'm getting it. He's definitely getting edge threat, and I'm definitely sending him off that edge. So right outside linebacker, I'm gonna have to go 88, 89. That's fine. I could get Lawrence Taylor, but I'd actually prefer Kayvon Thibodeau, because I haven't used him yet. He's also 6'4". Look at Kayvon Thibodeau. Also, I met the guy. Like, I could show a little respect. We were both wearing the same shades when I met him. He goes, I like your shades, man. I said, thank you, Kayvon. Shook his fucking meaty. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Felt like a little bitch, but. Oh, hey, hey, hey. That guy's a stud. 35,600 coins left over. Let's generate the best lineup and see just how cracked this team is. Drum roll, please. Generate best lineup. The 2.6 mil is an 89 overall. Are you kidding me? Ah, wait. I'm cheating a little bit. In my binder, I have these limited cards. My coin sponsor sends me these so I can quick sell them for the video. And of course, if you need coins, make sure to go to instantmaddencoins.com. They sell coins on every single platform. You can also directly buy players or training points. Buying limiteds and then quick selling them is probably the safest route, so I recommend that. This is a significantly better deal than what EA is going to offer you, and you can get 10% off when using the code MMG. That's instantmaddencoins.com. Just use the link in the description. So in reality, we fell just short of 89 overall. We're an 88 overall, but still, how could I have anything to complain about? Look at this fucking team. This backfield is absolutely cracked. My O-line is 88, 89, 88, 87, 87. Defensively, we have some of the best safeties in this game. Palomalu, Chancellor, Ed Reed. Our corners are amazing. t -Sizz Holcomb Mosley, Kayvon Thibodeau. Let's talk abilities. Derrick Henry with reach for it and bruiser. Kyler Murray is an improviser. Does he get dashing dead eye? If he does, that'd be awesome. Holy fuck, I love this game. And run and gun. Okoye is a must. Vanguard Nightmare, it's only one AP. You really don't need anything else. I'd love to get Bruce Matthews post up. And since he's a power guard, it should only be two. Yep, post up, only two AP. Cam's avalanche is four AP. I'm okay with that. I'm gonna go crusher. Heavy ball carry fatigue on hit stick tag. We're gonna use Cam Chancellor the way God intended. Terrell Suggs, what's your AKA X Factor? I really don't know. Is it Unstoppable Force? It's Run Stuffer, not very good, not worth it. But Edge Threat would be. Unstoppable Force would actually be pretty dope. I'm gonna try out an ability I've never tried out, which is Goal Line Stuff. Quicker Run Sheds near the Goal Line. And I have one X Factor slot available. I'm gonna go Universal Coverage at Reed. That, ladies and gentlemen, is our full squad. 
studs everywhere you look on defense studs everywhere you look on offense i cannot wait to play with this team playoffs baby one loss to elimination one win to get to the super bowl Ooh, the NFC Championship. He's got Carmichael, Derwin, and Julius Peppers. Holy shit. All right, Bam Bam came in the middle with Avalanche activated. Oh, wait, is that pass? What is that? Oh, my God. I've got the ball. Is it an RPO? What are you doing? I'm not even counting that as a rage quit. What are you doing? And I'm one of five wins? What do you mean I'm one of five wins? I accidentally played a game on old gen. My whole record looked really weird. I don't know what just happened, but... Derrick Henry, T-Sizzle, Kyler Murray. What do you got, T-Fox? Oh my God. First and 10, he is up in the middle. I think this edge run could actually work. Great block, Okoye. Flattened his user. Oh, Derrick. Whoo! Look at this. Look at this. No way you didn't break that, Derrick. Dante Hall, are you over the top? Dante Hall, outside release. I think he's got it. No. Darn it. No, tell me we can tackle him, right? Ah, I don't know if I should be doing that in the playoffs. First and 10, he's going to start out with a run of his own, and I've got Avalanche. Oh, 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 oh. This is a Patriots theme team. That's why that lawyer Malloy was so good. He goes to the dig route. Let's get a big hit. We got big hitters up there. All right, I'm putting, du I'm putting dudes in coverage here. We got man with a little extra help. A good defense. Fourth and eight. Nice route, but we got him. Casper ran his route just a little short. You got to get to the sticks. Dude, I swear Dante Hall is open here, bro. Like he just is. Go Dante. We'll get it. No, that's so weak. Oh, Kyler, is that the furthest you can throw? All right, I'm going to get to this right edge. Keep going, keep going, keep going. What a ball. That's why you use dashing dead eye. Hey, I like this formation too because he doesn't know if I'm going to pass or if I'm going to run stretch. Beauty. All right. I'm done. I'm done throwing it to Dante Hall. I know it doesn't work. Judon dives a little early there. Oh, he does. Dashing dead eye. Give me a good ball. Oh, no. Oh, my God. Holy shit. All right, let's see if the whip route gets him. Probably not. Oh, I had A. That was literally free. I'm mad at myself, man. Second and 10. Let's just hand this off Derrick Henry. Let's go over to our post up, big boys, and see what they got. Ooh, I like that. I love that. Holy shit. Now let's look low. Oh, he's blitzing off that side. I think Dante Hall gets open then. Oh, no. He, get, da, 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 da. he was usering Gilmore. Shit. I didn't think he'd be usering Gilmore. Hell of a play, dude. All right. Let's just stop him again. This could be a defensive game. There's a handoff. There's DeForest Buckner. Hatback. Hatback! Bam, bam, kill! Go, baby. Go, baby. You're not getting tracked down by Nelson Aguilar. Let's go. You know I'm going for two. I'm going to the left edge. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. We're playing mind games out here. I'm playing 3D chess. I expect a run play. It's not. The whip route's there. The hatback's there. Oh, that's a sketchy ball. No way. Big clutch up by Ed Reed. Davon Thibodeau is in. CJ Mosley is in for our new set. I think this takes Bam Bam Cam out of the lineup. The dig. The crosser. There's nothing. Absolutely nothing. Great defense, boys. It's a run. Mostly get there, Thibodeau. Oh, Ed Reed, why are you shoving him across the fucking line? That's okay. I'm going to go mostly underneath over here. I think he wants to go underneath. Oh, over the middle. I'm on it. I'm on everything. Let's go. That is so fine with me. Let's go. Second and 10. Second and 10. He's going to want a whip route. Go! <gasps> oh! You are so lucky. Oh, that's a big six. Slip screen. Don't you try this shit on me! No. Yes. Oh, I thought I'd get the pick six on it, but we'll take that. Fourth and ten. I got a lot of coverage out there. I got the dig. I don't got the halfback. But I do! Once again! With just barely a yard, I missed the hit stick too! We're still gonna pick this up. Oh my god. You think this is man? It's not man. Oh, I just threw the Y, but I couldn't get it off. We're in such a bad situation. Beauty! Hawkinson, what a fucking route. I feel like Derrick Henry could just torch this guy. Let's see who's on Derrick Henry. Oh, he's not ready. He's got a ready! <laughs> Holy fuck. That's that's prime Megatron right there with that contested catch. I'm actually looking for a Koye over the middle here. Alright, he's fully committed to the man coverage bullshit. He's not coming out of it. Okay. 
On a bunch here, we're just kind of looking for a rub. We're looking for, like, somebody to get out of place. Bingo. Ooh. Well, you know what? I got pretty lucky with my catches. I'm not too upset about that. Oh, shit. I'm running out of clock. I should have called timeout. Fuck. Fucked up that clock management. I thought I'd have time to run the play, then call the timeout, kick the field goal. I messed that up. I we got a lead, though. I think he gets the ball here. Even my 2.6 mil coin team just gets boxed up by me in coverage, bro. That's so sad. All right, boys. Second half. Defense has been clamps. Defense has been just uber clamps. And you know what? We spent the 1.6 mil on the defense, not the offense. We got T-Sizzle in coverage. That's probably not the meta. So many people on this. Bam Bam Cam's lit up. Hand it off. You know you want to. Just a cheeky little handoff. Can't hurt, right? Oh my, what the fuck are you smoking? No, you didn't just throw in a win. Oh my God. Okay. Oh, I missed. <gasps> Peterson, what the fuck are you doing? What was that angle? What a joke. What a joke. I, I, I missed with, with Cam, so I should have got that myself. But what was Peterson doing? Six to seven. We're just casually coming out in Wildcat. See if he follows the jet. Follow it, follow it, follow it. Oh my God. Holy fuck, Hawkinson. Dude, you blocked that guy. It's a touchdown. He's not blocking. All right, second and 11. Oh, that's a beauty. Damn. All right, Hawkinson with a little redemption on a very tough catch. He's going to take the underneath route, I think. Shit. What the fuck is that? How? I just snapped the ball. Oh, Hawkinson. Oh, no, 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 no. He's dropping back. Ah! That's fully boxed. Oh, thank God. What a convert. Oh, Kyler's lit up. Shit. All right. This man coverage is BS. We have to attack it. I'm going to run weak side. Oh, that's sick. That's fucking sick. Third and 16. Fuck him. Let's go. Okay. Honestly, a good run, but situationally, that's stupid. I don't care. I'm taking a field goal anyway. Good kick. Nine to seven. Three minutes, 15 seconds left. I'm happy to do it, though. Thank God. Oh, thank God. We've had good defense, not spectacular defense, but very good defense so far. Hat back? Nope. Hey, great work. Don't you dare run a slip screen. You're so fucked if you're on a slip screen. Oh, right here, right here, right here. I knew you wanted to. <laughs> Dude, these guys are so fucking fast. I could feel that getting thrown too. Oh, this is a run play. Let's go, let's go, Ed. Let's go, Ed. Great work. Got a blitz, T-Sizzle. Oh, nice play. I'm just gonna let Yeah, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna risk missing another attack. Okay, he's in goal line. Get out of bounds. Beautiful. I don't really know. I'm gonna run commit. If he scores, I'm okay with it. Beauty! Knocked him back. Fourth and five. What does he do here? Kicks the field goal. I'm not even gonna lie. I kind of thought he was just gonna go for it to either end the game or just say fuck it, but I respect it. Nine to seven, now nine to ten. I'm gonna shank that. Minute 44, one timeout. I might just go for the touchdown. I don't know if I'm gonna gear up for the field goal. Let's go, Dante. Hold oh, Dante. Just give me a monster return here, buddy. If it wasn't for him, we had a good option there. Damn, Vrabel's been blowing those plays up back there. I'm not ready to give up on the run. I don't care if it's fourth quarter. I'm not ready to give up on the run. I'm sick of these cheesy bullshit man blitzes. And I want to beat them so bad. Yes! Let's fucking go, Derrick Henry! Oh, we got so much room. I have run and gun, so I could have gone for a perfect pass there if I wanted to, but so happy with those yards. Dude, look at this shit. It's fucking Matthew Judon over there is prime Darrell Revis, I guess. Let's go, Henry. Great blocks. Not so great blocks. Fourth and four. It's all coming down to this play right here. The game is very dependent on this play right here. Fourth and four. Beauty. What a fucking play. Going inside zone, Henry. Ballsy. But it's gonna work. I just lost yards on that. Oh, fuck. I thought I threw that ball. I didn't get it off. That's huge. Oh, he's got him. Oh, no, he doesn't. He does! Henry! Get out of bounds! Oh, my God! Do I just take it right now? I can go up there and spike it, though. We got time for this. First and 10. I can run one play. I'm not giving him an opportunity. 
Beautiful. Spike, 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 spike. I'll let it go to two seconds. He calls a timeout prematurely. Doesn't want to let me go to two seconds, understandably. Come on, Justin Reed. I get, no, I don't get focus kicker. Fuck, and I'm going to get iced because of that bullshit. Oh, wait a second. I'm not iced. And he can't call back-to-back -back timeouts. How am I not iced? I got it. I got it. Why am I not iced? Oh, it's because I didn't come out in a kick. Oh my God, that was galaxy brain. I came out in spike and he timed out. You can't do back-to-back -back timeouts in the NFL. Then I came out in kick, so I didn't get iced. 12 to 10, six seconds left. No kick return touchdowns. Please, for the love of fucking God. And kick returns get... Oh, he doesn't even want it. I want pressure. Let's go, T-Sizzle. He just airs it out. Let's go! One more, boys. I'm back here, Bam Bam. Get to the motherfucker. Oh my god, have a little more time to throw it. Let's go! Woo! What a game! Do that Derrick Henry play? <laughs> that Derrick Henry play? <laughs> you are really dumb. Do that Derrick Henry play? Oh my god. That's straight out of a fucking movie, dude. All right, gentlemen, you know what this means. The next episode is going to be one of the craziest you've ever seen. That's the 5.2 million coin builder, the grand finale for Double or Nothing. I'll grind to the playoffs to guarantee a playoff game for the finale. 5.2 million coins. And that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed. This was an absolute blast. I'll see you in the next one, baby. Let's get it.